K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, sci-fi enthusiasts, space fanatics, I am the Killer Gamer and welcome back to the epic space adventure, No Man's Sky. Well, we're going to pick up where we left off. We are on this radiated planet and I, for the life of me, I can't remember what in the world we were doing here. <laughs> What were we doing here? I think we were gathering um, something, but uh, well, going out was not quite what I wanted to do, but uh, let's see. That's what I wanted to look up. Alright, so we got plenty of stuff for our launch thrusters, so that's good. My defection of perfection. <laughs> I love the name of my ship. It's a class B ship. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Alright, a leap in the dark. Let's go ahead and locate this mysterious distress signal. And uh We will go ahead and Head on out here. I think we're getting a message. Possibly. Hopefully you can all hear the uh, the sound effects and the music uh, coming for this. Maybe I need to turn it up a little bit. I don't know. There we go. Okay, so we need to put this... I think we're too close to the planet. Let's get a little further out here. Preferably out of orbit, that might work. Oh, this is a ring planet, okay. Not what I want it. There we go. Well, they're not going to make it. Well, they're not coming in here, I can tell you that. So this is where the multiplayer aspect of No Man's Sky is at. Whenever you go to uh, 
the anomaly, you are then... this. It's kind of like Guild Wars. Is that still a thing? Is Guild Wars still out? Um, <laughs> we should do that for sci-fi fantasy uh, Sunday. Basically, role-playing games is a is our is going to be our Sunday thing. But uh, yeah, you know, you get into a common area that winds up being the multiplayer part, and then you can go from here and go on missions with people and and stuff. Okay, there is Nada right there, so we're going to head over here. Well, who has missed you? Explain the portal. I explain my journal through the portal, my vision of the strange world on the other side, how I awoke a long way from my ship. Yeah, so we went through a portal uh, that looks like the Stargate from the uh, Stargate movie and TV show. Nada looks at me with concern. Traveler, your journey was longer. You might realize portals have much in common with our home. Their travel is anomalous. But you are unhummed, yes? You feel complete. You feel not crimson. Uh, not on fire, I suppose. <laughs> Confirm. Not as pleased. Old portals are strange, but so is our home. Polo is clever. Atlas false entity cannot see us. Polo uses Atlas falsity against themselves. Alright, so we need to speak to Polo. Isn't this Polo over here? Maybe not. Where is Polo? I'm pretty sure this is Polo. Yeah. How are ya? You hungry? This is the customer to greeting for our old friend, yes? I told Nada you'd be fine, traveler friend. Poor Nada. They do get nervous. All right, let's see. Ask about strange worlds. Ask for Atlas Station coordinates. Ask for black hole coordinates. Black holes are interesting. That will get you a good distance away from where you happen to be at. Once such places did not exist, could not be seen, but now... Every second more appear, they seep through a new creation. I do not know where these new worlds come from, what lies beyond our boundaries, I do not think I will ever know. But they are exciting to see, yes! This is like Yoda. Mmm, <laughs> yes! <laughs> See? Just like Yoda. Ask for Atlas Station coordinates. I would do it, friend. But please be careful. We would hate to see you leave us. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll ask for the black hole coordinates. Of course, friend. The whole galaxy for you, just for you. You must see it all. Mm. Well, did we get one? I don't know. Um, okay, what are we up to now? What are we up to? See, there's a guy. All right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Log. Okay. Look for a way to help Artemis. We've got to purchase technology, blueprints, or new base parts aboard the Anomaly. Undertake missions with other travelers from the Nexus, or exchange discoveries and rare products for nanites. Alright, so we got to do something. Uh. 
Let's see, I think all the uh, stations are over here. Let's take a look and see if there's some blueprints or something over here we can take a look at. I don't have any salvage data. Oh, I can't get any of this stuff. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess I won't be getting it. We can get nanites, though. That's over in this direction. Let's take a look. I think this is this is one of them. Nope! Helo, he, Helios and Ares. Come on, what about this guy here? Whoops. Here's Helios. Ah, young one who still roamed the boundaries of the universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed because I was took an arrow to the knee. But I miss it greatly. <laughs> Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. I yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. Give data. All right, let's give data planets. Yeah! That's kind of a scary... <laughs> That's a scary looking head. That's why, like, on fire and part tree or something. Please take these nanites. All right, we got some nanites. Okay. Well, I got the nanites. So, I don't know. Um, a leap in the dark, activate a portal, locate the mysterious distress signal. I think that's what we had on before. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and get to our ship and uh, we'll head out of here. There's like so much you can do in this uh, in this game. Kind of like reminds me of like the Elder Scrolls where you got all these missions and stuff. And it's like, well, you know, do I want to do this one? Well, not yet. <laughs> Is that little red thing? There it is. Ah, it's over here on this planet. Ending sequence unavailable. I can't wait till I get my. Will you land? Land! Dang it! <laughs> yeah, I can't wait until I get my i7 working. Had some stuff that kind of set me back a little bit, but. Once I can get that working again with uh, the new graphics card I got, I think this is going to be a lot smoother.
Pam Pam Elf. They approach the source of the signal. A hologram appears. It is Artemis. But there is only silence, a slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. When I think Artemis, I think of the character uh, from Transformers the movie, the animated one, you know, the one that actually matters. Because it was towards the very beginning when Unicron was attacking, and he was like, Artemis, look! It's Unicron! Who's there? Knock, knock. Who's there? The art, the hologram just stares. It's strange, but I feel a sense of deja vu as if I've been here before, right at this very moment. Where are you? As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by a strange static. They came! Psst. Watch closely! Machines murders against the Psst. <laughs> Oh, Artemis Fowl. Yeah, that's that's one too. Um, I've not read that. So I've heard of it, but I've not read it. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. Well, that's not good. There is no ulterior source of the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are... Called them, but still beloved. Anom anomaly. They... Not a polo watching us. Tracking. Mistake. Abandoned. But it wasn't through the portal. Please don't trust. I'm afraid. Aren't. No, no. It's okay, Artemis. It's okay. Uh-oh. The echo's all that's left of the entity known as Artemis. A grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead! No! Perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. If I can survive, because I'm burning! <laughs> that's alright. I have some fire protection, so I'm good. Okay, planetary chart contains directions to a point of interest. Contact Apollo at a hollow terminus. You see to scan your surroundings. There we go, hollow terminus uh, detected. All right, we'll just go ahead and head over there. Now, there have been some updates since the last time we played. Um, I forget. It's There's like a something dark now that is added to the game. Um, has to, to do with those alien... Uh, like some of those areas that have those uh, alien leftover creatures or something. It's got a... It's got a like an alien movie vibe to it now or something. see if we can recharge some stuff here. And this is the... Okay, here it is. Yeah, definitely need to recharge this. We have an ion battery. Um, okay. Not quite, not quite what I wanted to do. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see. Too bad. This is a little bit different from what I remember. Well, we got to get this recharged over here, too. How many ion batteries do I have here? I must have a lot of them. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do this one here. Okay. Sounds good. Storm is cleared. I think we are good to head on out of here. We'll discover this place. Point Uzi Hichu Choppa Choppa something. We got something over here. Some Starship launch fuel, that's always helpful. I don't really have anything in here. Ah, that's what we're looking for right there. But we can get some nanites and some other stuff here. Usually there's like a little globe here that allows you to get some improve your uh, language learning because there's like three different languages. I dig these steps <laughs> with the little pink in between there. I don't like pastel pink, but when it's like neon pink, oh, I love it. Neon pink is awesome. I've not been much into any type of pastels, really. Warning! Network compromise. Warning! Manual override required. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Well, let's perform a manual override. Break, 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 break. Data stream overridden. His name is Noel. Or just doesn't have a name. Look at these arms. It's kind of wicked looking. You are not alone. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know that life will finish? Who are you? You refuse to answer? That's answer enough, I suppose. I know you, Traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more after a fashion? What would you do then? I wonder. 
Well, I would do it, I guess. Like a fool, you rush in, eager to do whatever you are commanded. You remind me of myself, you know. The blood of Artemis' data, the heart its glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind arc, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. All right, I got blueprints for something called the mind arc. A device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. I accept it, not knowing who this stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures, but if there's a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. The Soul Engine. Advanced crafted product. Okay, so... We've got metal plating. Um, we're going to need to get cadmium and a living pearl. Okay, well, apparently it's not enough to tell us once. we got to be told twice. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to make a cadmium drive in order to get to a red system. should take a picture of this. Ah, uh, okay, so... We need to, let's take a look at our inventory here, which I have apparently no room to do anything. That's the Starship one. Darn it, I don't have any room here either. Okay, I don't need this. I'll get rid of that. There's the soul engine right there. Okay, that's right. We need cadmium. But what about the living pearl? Nope. I have no idea where to get a living pearl at. solar system. I have an indium drive. I do have a cadmium drive. Awesome. Okay, good. Well, let's head up in the space then. Oh, I guess we need to report back to the anomaly again. All right, we got to uh, talk to Nadia or Nada. 
nada nada to talk about no Pardon me. All right, Nada. Traveler entity, Nada has watched your signal. Nada has seen the other entity. Other entity is old. Other than Nada, older than our home. Nada feels dim watching. All right, let's ask about Noel. Not to ask the other entity, are they first, are they last? Missing entity chose not to answer. They have no, ignored us. Apollo entity ignores us too. Ignores the travelers, such as their pattern. It is valid. Let's see. Oh, okay. I guess we're not going to be asking any other questions. I might be getting a delivery of space pizza <laughs> soon. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, space pizza. It doesn't get any better than that. The visuals are just gorgeous in No Man's Sky. We'll go ahead and end things right there and i want to thank you so much for watching it means a lot to me if you are enjoying this series and if you enjoy my play style go ahead and click that like button and leave some comments maybe you play no man's sky or maybe you've always wanted to but just yeah, just didn't really want to buy it but leave some comments uh, I, I really appreciate the feedback and also share it on social media and let others know that the uh, series is out there I love entertaining people. I'm an entertainer. I'm an entertainer more than I'm a gamer. That, that rhymes, doesn't it? <laughs> and I love making videos and stuff. Gaming just happens to be a platform that works well for me in regards to uh, being able to uh, entertain and, and make videos. And when you share and give this video activity, it helps out. It helps me out. It helps out the channel. Um, gets it more recognized out there. Another thing that helps out is subscribing, because you get you get to be uh, become part of the killer community, and we're trying to make that grow, grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. We want to get to a thousand subscribers. That's our next goal. That's our next big milestone is to get up to a thousand subscribers, because then great things start happening for the channel. So. Let people know, spread the word, and let's grow this community together. And, oh, <laughs> ring that notification bell so you get notified of future sci-fi fantasy content, which is every Sunday. You might want to know what it is that's uploaded. And then if you head on over to Twitch, you get to be part of these episodes as I record them. They're not just live streams that I just throw up on YouTube. Uh, that sounds kind of sick. Uh, <laughs> I'm basically recording the episodes like, you know, like I always do. And sometimes they're just offline. But I record them and I happen to just uh, stream them so that way you all get to be part of the show. So head on over there. I'd love to be able to meet you. And then Instagram for pictures and photos of things that I'm working on behind the scenes. That way you can see what it is that I'm up to. Twitter is the official killer tv and well killer gamer for that matter it's our official communication channel directly with you folks so that way you get that official killer news and announcements and you know i'll retweet uh some things that i think you might find interesting 
Snapchat, well, that's just for, for fun. I don't use it all the time, but for those of you who do, well, you can add me and follow me. Why not? <laughs> and then Patreon, for those of you who believe in the killer cause of killer television and would like to invest and help me out, help me grow this channel, being a subscriber over on Patreon helps out. And guess what? You get something in return. There are bonuses and rewards there, so go check it out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it a lot. I will see you on the next episode of our space adventure. Bye! <laughs> and speaking of bye, have a killer awesome day.